Hey y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Let's get cozy, a journey to me. I am Clanisha. And today I am going to be talking about a very interesting topic. I am going to be talking about dating today. Now, typically when we start dating someone new, we always ask them, well, what do you bring to my table? Or what are you willing to bring to my table? Why should I date you? What makes you dateable? So today I am going to flip the script. I am going to give you seven reasons why you may not want to date me. Seven reasons why I may not be the person for you. Reason number one, I love God. And I take my relationship with God very seriously. And I am not willing to compromise myself to be with you. Reason number two. My past is my past. God has forgiven me. I have forgiven myself. And therefore, I continue to press on toward the goal. If you cannot deal with where I am headed and you continue to try to hold me to what I have done in the past, you are not for me. Reason number three, I have two children. So if women with children are a deal breaker for you, the door, because they are not going anywhere. Reason number four, I am not indulging in any type of sexual activity prior to marriage. So if that makes you uncomfortable because you feel like you have to have the milk before you get married, then leave, then leave. Because again, I will not be compromising myself for the likes of you. You are not my husband, therefore you will not get husband treatment. Reason number Five, if I do decide to stop doing what I am doing, to be able to meet up with you and engage in face-to-face -face conversation with you, please keep your hands to yourself. Respect my boundaries. Do not touch me. That is the biggest pet peeve that I have when people are touchy-feely the first time you meet up or just touchy-feely, period that really grinds my gears and it really makes me cringe reason number six i am not girlfriend material that sounds crazy to hear right but i'm not i am not girlfriend material i am a wife and i know that i am a wife therefore i will not settle for being a girlfriend when I know that I am much greater. I am on another level. You making me your girlfriend after the talking friend stage is not going to unlock another dimension of me at all. The same things I am willing to share with you at the friend level are nine times out of 10 going to be the same things that I share with you being this girlfriend uh, I'm a firm believer I'm not gonna say firm believer but the same things that you are learning about me or whoever I give to you or what I'm presenting to you that's a better term whatever I am presenting to you during the friend stage is pretty much um, what you're going to get Syria I'm 32 and I feel like having a boyfriend at this age that I am now, me, I feel this way, is ghetto, okay? <laughs> but anyways, I view relationships as friends, fiance, wife, friend, fiance, husband. And the same goes for men as well. I feel like whatever I'm learning about you in the friend stage is pretty much probably going to be the same things that I learn um, about you in the boyfriend stage but you never stop learning about the person you're with even when you all are married you learning about them is a continuous thing reason number seven I am called I have a calling on my life I know what my purpose is and if you 
do not fit that purpose and if you do not fit that calling more than likely you will get left behind because I am in no position to be delayed I've been delayed long enough and so now I am ready and willing to walk it out with God and I am not trying to allow anybody to hold me back to the promises of God it's just like Cinderella if it doesn't fit you're not it so I hope that you were able to learn a couple of things about me you at least learned seven things about me um, of why me and you may not be able to date or seven things why I may not be the person for you but anyways if you have not yet please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel until next week I'll see you then bye